Hello YouTube, this is Wolfen here. Today we are going to go over how to make a Dixper card. So, so let me go over to live. So basically, you've synced up Dixper, the Dixper app. You're all ready to go. You've chosen your pack or your collection. You've made things like that. But you've got cards in your head that you would like to see in your game that aren't in any collection out there. Like, let's say you're a big, you know, 80s slasher flick fan. But they don't have any, uh, you know, they don't have anything for that. They don't have any cards for that. So, this is how. I'm going to show you how you can make a card that will represent that. So, let me go over here to live scene. Okay. So, you've got this. So you'll go down to your My Collections. Go to Phasmophobia. Well, for me, it's Phasmophobia. I just create everything in here instead of having a separate collection. Though I think I'm actually going to pull all my custom cards and make another collection that is just my custom cards. Because I've got a few now. But you'll click on this. You'll go to Create or Import Skill. In this case, we're going to be creating. So create your custom customizable skill. So let's say in this case, you want to make a card for, you know, you're a Halloween fan. You want to make a card with Michael Myers. So, you know, find a pic of Michael, you know, find a picture of Michael Myers. I've already kind of done all this. So, so you click on that. You want to click save. Basically, every step you want to click save or it won't even, it'll actually, the, it, the system will tell you, you've got to click save before you can go to the next step. Okay. So we'll get to this part after we, we finish the card. So add action. Uh, so you got audio to play a sound effect. You got your button play, so select select a button will play a sound when pressed. If you're used to Dixper at all, you'll see like there's some like, you know, play a piano key, if uh, you know, WASD. Uh, force press button, select button will be pressed and released for duration of skill. Those are your, like direction keys. So we'll say you wanna make a card that if this card's played, the W key is pressed the whole, like for five seconds and the guy just keeps on walking and the person just keeps on walking. Um, connects the press of a key to another one. It's just combining key strokes, block a key, blocks W, blocks A, blocks your picking up something like with the E. I'm talking more about phasmophobia stuff right now. Mouse button blocker, won't let you, you know, open up a door <laughs> if this is blocked, things like that. Uh, you can also, like, I think pretty much block the whole keyboard if you really wanted to. Let's see here. Yeah, just get rid of this. So, go back to here. Image. What we're looking for is image. So, go there. We want to put, we, we want that whole image there. So, click that. Boom. That whole image is up. Now, we'll click save again. In this case, I haven't found a good audio yet for this pick. I'm still working on it, but we can pick a, I'm probably gonna just pick the, the Voorhees, which is the e -e -e sound. So now that's awfully damn loud. So we're going to change that a little bit. And okay, so as you can see, that clip is only two seconds, but we don't want there to be eight seconds of dead space. So, We'll do that. What I wish they had on here was a repeat, because that would be nice. But they don't. I'm gonna say, you know, this is two seconds, but the sound will go will keep repeating. Actually, let's click on this. Let's just see if there is. No, but just a delay. Okay, so now we want to click this. So now, when this card is played, it'll be up for two seconds with that sound. Okay, the other thing you want to add is chat message. Because what this will do will let you know who played the card. Uh, I actually found this out like last week. So it's the squiggly lines, two squiggly lines, user capital N AME and two squiggly lines. And if you move your mouse over here, it'll also tell you. Be sure to add these squiggly. I don't even know what these things are called, but yeah. Username, and yeah, make sure the N is capitalized if viewer name is to be included in the message. And then whatever you want to add to the message. Like, like if I played this card on you, it would say like Wolfen 
want you to have a happy Halloween or something like that. Um, so that's what my message. So anyone that places card on me, this is what will come up. We'll we'll say it's blank and blank. Thanks for being watched. And we'll click save, and that's it. So if we're playing. So let me minimize, let's see, let me pull this over here. So, so what will happen now? So now, now you want to test a card. To test a card, you need to have up your, whatever streaming device you're using. So for me is a Streamlabs OBS. So either stream elements, OBS, some, whatever you're using and the game. Both those have to be up for you to be able to test the card. So now we'll launch the skill. And boom, there you go. Let me move this back over. And that is basically how you make a dicks for a card. There's a lot of things in here I've still not messed with. Uh, I'll probably do a more in-depth one, but this gets this will get you going. Oh wait, no, there is this we want to go over. Uh, your cooldowns, legendaries, whatever. How I choose my rarity. I choose it by length of the pick because a lot of my a lot of my cards take up the whole screen. I want my screen to be taken up. So if guys are so if folks are playing cards on me, that I'm being especially like if I'm being hunted by a ghost, I most because I mostly play Phasmophobia. Um, I want my screen to be taken up, so I don't know where the heck I'm going. So I base my cards off how long my screen is taken up. So like if it's two seconds, I'll probably keep it at common. If it's between three and four, I'll probably change it to rare. Five and six, I'll do epic. Seven plus, I change to legendary. Or actually, usually eight plus is legendary. Seven to five is epic. Three and four is rare. One and two is common. So in this case, I'll just keep it common. Back, like I'll come back and then that'll be it. Now, if you're not done with the card, you can hide it. So if someone buys a pack, they don't get this card. And then when you're done with the card, you can finish it up. Like I'm technically not done with this card because I want to change this. I want to change the audio to it. I just haven't found a good audio yet. Uh, Halloween, John Carpenter, a lot of his stuff isn't uh, available for as far as sound noise. So I need to find something generic that fits the Halloween uh, movie. So, so that's that. But hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully you got something out of this. And have, hopefully you have a good day. And I'll catch you out there. Bye-bye.